U.S. households hold a significant amount of their money in demand deposits. By demand deposits, I'm referring to checking accounts at a local bank. Now, the interest rate returns on these demand deposits are essentially zero. If you couple this with the high inflation rates that we've observed over the past year, that implies a pretty significant reduction in purchasing power. But how much is this loss exactly? Our data shows that U.S. demand deposits over the past year have lost purchasing power of about 1.9% of nominal gross domestic product, or roughly $418 billion. If we compare this to other countries, this is actually on the lower end, because other advanced economies actually hold a larger proportion of their money in demand deposits. And then on top of that, Demand deposits are just one of many financial assets. So if we also included time deposits such as CDs and savings deposits, that would quadruple the figure to nearly $1.8 trillion. This is all to say that the impact of high inflation on the loss of purchasing power is very significant. The effects vary across countries as well as between individual households. To learn more about these varied effects, please see our work in The Regional Economist.